yeah, the next topic is uh, WebGPU rendering, uh, which is this new thing, which is very unstable and unsafe, but it does the job of rendering uh, a GPU, uh, like rendering data uh, stuff from WebGPU to a window. Um, and it works by, it bridges the gap using FFI. So if you can somehow in your application get these two pointers to a window handle and a display handle, which must correspond to this, this is validated by WebGPU, so it should be safe. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you can get that, then uh, you can also present to a window. And this is um, dubbed as bring your own window. So here I, I have an example uh, using SDL2. There's some initialization up uh, and we create the window. I'm using SDL's uh, events uh, thing to get the events. And you can see in the draw event, I interface with WebGPU to clear the screen, set the render pipeline, and at the end, I call surface.present on the in, uh, unsafe window surface. And that renders the window. Um, I have a few cool demos, like there's a, this Apple Music app thing is written using just plain web GPU and SDL windowing. Uh, there are a bunch of cool demos if you're interested. Uh, there's an issue for that. Um, but there are limitations, of course. Uh, I just cannot ship this to someone who does not have a GPU or web GPU does not work um, properly. And that's kind of an okay limitation, uh, but off screen canvas will kind of help with that. Uh, you can write stuff in off screen kind of score and you don't have to use web GPU directly. Oh, you mean using 2D context? Yeah. Yeah, that's for most 2D stuff. It's going to take a couple long time to implement mm -hmm. 2D context. Okay. Well, yeah. There's also another way to use Swift shader to like emulate stuff. But yeah, that's hard. Um, then 3JS has a bunch of bugs. Uh, yeah. It's probably a bug in WebGPU somewhere, in WGPU. Um, and there are some other bugs listed here uh, by a community member. Yeah. Uh, uh, there's also like a little hard to do, but doable event loop implementation uh, with windowing libraries. It is possible to drive the JS event loop and also the window uh, in the same thread, but it's uh, not very intuitive. Uh, and like, most users won't use this API directly. Uh, they'll use more higher level API uh, like 3JS and just expect it to work. Uh, yeah, so there are great opportunities to improve. Like we can have assets like Bart Accept uh, to like embed files and uh, icons uh, and stuff. Um, then you can also have bundling to like a DMG or MSI uh, or like build installers. Then also high level DX is important to have this be more adopted and be actually used. Um, so game engines like 3JS, uh, Babylon, um, desktop, apps you can build um, so some similar uh, like similar things to these uh, like electron tori export native script uh, i guess app development shouldn't be there <laughs> but yeah um, and we can have an even better baseline uh, like if you know someone talks about binary sizes they should say oh node is bloated have you tried tino uh, and I, I think we can do that so uh yeah uh, that's my talk thank you <laughs>